Good afternoon and welcome once again to Digital Look TV. Joining us today is Arik Okrasa. He is market strategist at Trade Next. Arik, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. This entire week has been quite intense as far as macroeconomic developments in markets. I know you're a specialist in technical analysis, particularly FX markets, foreign exchange. I was wondering, or rather I was hoping that you could run us through some of the different currency pairs. Let's say, for example, let's start with the Eurozone or the Euro block. Um, yes, you're right. The, the week was quite intense. Mm. And in the Eurozone, we might or we might, might see slowly turn into um, deflation, yes. so to speak. Before the program, you were telling me a little bit about the risk that you were telling me there is deflation in several countries and that this eventually could snowball into a problem where the ECB perhaps the forecasts now are not anticipating deflation? Um, at, at least a month ago, mm -hmm. we've seen negative percentage growth in mm -hmm. four countries, mm -hmm. in Portugal, Spain, uh, in Portugal, Slovakia, Greece, and uh, Cyprus. Mm -hmm. So if the situation spreads, mm -hmm. we might see ECB acting on mm -hmm. by going into quantitative easing. Mm -hmm. If they want do it this way, hmm. then the European debt problem hmm. might increase hmm. and eventually go out of hands. Mm -hmm. You were telling me, it's in your opinion, the ECB, not the ECB should act, the ECB has to act. Uh, from, from my point of view, it's supposed to, because we have a couple of other links uh, involved in the situation, like Eurozone is the biggest export buyer from China. Mm -hmm. So if um, Eurozone slows down, mm -hmm. then China is linked to it. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, with China, mm -hmm. we have the major trading partner mm -hmm. is Aust Australia. Yes. So they will slow down as well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the ECB acts on time, and mm -hmm. we won't um, end in the Japanese style mm -hmm. when everything was from the beginning was done mm -hmm. too late. Okay. Everything that you're telling us does seem like it might indeed turn out to be the case. Nobody knows for sure, but it looks like it could indeed turn out to be the case. Do you see this reflected on your charts? Um, someone says that patient is important in mm -hmm. trading. Mm -hmm. I would say that this is the time to call it for mm -hmm. because from monthly chart on Eurozone, you have a pennant. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a 69-month resistance line, mm -hmm. and what we have to wait for is the level of 139.50 mm -hmm. to be broken to the upside. But it's not only to be broken, it also mm -hmm. the candle has to close above that level. Mm -hmm. If that happens, then we might have free way to go to another 1.43 mm -hmm. handle. Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, the first confirmation is truly needed. Mm -hmm. So, for the euro dollar, the first confirmation, the first indication of further possible outside would come with the monthly can candle, the next monthly candle, a close above 139.50, possibly targeting a move towards 143? That's correct. Okay. And I believe the exact phrase you used explaining it to me before the interview was, wait for it? Uh, be, patient. be patient. It's actually crucial. Uh, for conservative traders mm -hmm. when they need to wait or they usually wait for a confirmation. Mm -hmm. You think it's, that's always a good recommendation for FX traders? Be patient, conservative? I mean, uh, some aggressive traders don't wait for the confirmation. They mm -hmm. act simply based on experience and intuition. Mm -hmm. But for conservative traders, they wait for a confirmation after confirmation mm -hmm. and then they come to mm -hmm. the play maybe in the end of but on the safety way. Fantastic. Okay, next currency block, sterling. There seems to be a minority view. Uh, let's leave it at minority view, because it seems to be a, perhaps a little bit more than just a minority view, that the Bank of England perhaps ought to think about raising rates sooner than what the, gover gov the governor, Mark Carney, is saying. That, that is to say, not in, towards Q2 2015, not Q1, but even December of this year. Not everybody shares that opinion, but some people believe that that is what Sterling is telling us. Again, 
Do you see that in your charts, or is that just crazy? By uh, looking at the chart, this view might be supported once the level of 1.68 is taken out. Mm -hmm. uh, so spilling the beans, mm -hmm. by looking at the chart, we might say mm -hmm. that the uh, hike in interest rate might happen sooner mm -hmm. than later. The economy looks strong. Mm -hmm. Um, so why not hmm. to speculate about and be prepared? Mm -hmm. Once mm -hmm. again, once a weekly candle this mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. closes, at least a weekly candle closes above mm -hmm. 1.68 handle, mm -hmm. then we might wait, we might have the first signal to go long with, mm -hmm. with the currency pair. And the target would be around 350, 400 pips away. Wow, that's quite a big, that's big upside. Yeah. Okay, so then in cable, possible target 300, 350 pips upside? Once we have a close of weekly candle above 1.68 level. Fantastic. Okay, another currency pair that you seem to like quite a bit is Dragon. It's or the no? sterling versus the Japanese yen. Mm -hmm. And this all depends how Bank of Japan is going to play. Mm. Uh, on Tuesday evening, mm -hmm. we had the statement from Bank of Japan that they won't enter another quantitative easing. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, investor are still, investors are still in the mood mm -hmm. that we will go for Japan, will go for next quantitative easing in around June, July. Mm -hmm. So yes. if that's happened, mm -hmm. then we have a very good match. The mm -hmm. sterling, which mm -hmm. strengthened at the moment, right. okay. and with the weakening yen, mm -hmm go long with the currency pair mm -hmm. seems as a good bet. Mm -hmm. At the moment we have a triangle on weekly chart, triangle mm -hmm. on, on, on dragon. Yes. And again, once mm -hmm. we have the first candle closed above the resistance line to the upside, mm -hmm. then we have another first signal to go long with dragon. Fantastic. Okay. So then Euro dollar, we have to wait for confirmation on a monthly chart, yeah. monthly candle, 139.50 possible first indication. Cable on a weekly chart, possible first indication, 168. Dragon, what's the level to look for? Um, it's around once the candle, the, the level is broken, then we have another 350 or 400 pips. Also on weekly charts? Well, also on weekly charts. It's looking for the weekly charts from, monthly chart from Euro dollar and uh, weekly chart on cable. It's important because the US plays mm -hmm. important role in it. Mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago when we had FOMC uh, meeting, yes. the mood was uh, very uh, bearish. I mean, it was uh, hawkish for the US dollar, Indeed. but it was dovish for the Euro dollar as a currency pair. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, yesterday, the picture has changed dramatically after from minutes, mm -hmm. when majority sees highly accommodative stance yes. after the QE ends, mm -hmm. and no one expects interest rates rise in the US uh, six months after the QE ends. Mm -hmm. So the weekly charts are important to watch for because mm -hmm. the time period is not on daily basis, mm -hmm. it's more on monthly basis. That's why I would be looking at weekly and monthly charts waiting for the confirmations. Okay. So weekly, monthly charts and be patient. And be, pa and be patient. Okay. We'll be waiting for it. Areko Krasa, market strategist at TradeNext, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure. And once again, that's all from all of us here at Digital Look TV. Thank you very much for your time.